Now, let's look at strategies in solving problems involving integ integration of product and powers of science and cosine. So, in going forward, you can be given the fact that, um, or if you want to integrate, um, if you want to integrate, let's say, if you want to integrate cos power n of x, sine power sine power k of x you you'll be able to use the following steps please let's take note here one if k if k here is odd that is if the k on the sign is odd which is the power of the sign is odd you can rewrite it as sine k of x equal to sine k minus 1 and then of x and then you do it like sine x, you multiply by sine x of which when you multiply it back we are going to get the same sine k as you know for example when you have sine power maybe 4 and you want to reduce it so let me write here sine power 3 and you want to reduce you can say sine 2x multiply by another sine x which is the same nothing has changed that's what this one means and then after you are done with this you can use the trick identity sine square of x which is equal to 1 minus cos square of x which came from sine square x plus cos square x, which is equal to 1. I know most of you are familiar with this identity. So you can um, use this identity to rewrite whatever you are having. Over, uh, to rewrite this, this one that you, 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 you substituted. So now, for example, if, as I said, if k is odd, k can be maybe 3. If it's 3, you can write it as sine square x sine x. If k is 5, you can say um, sine, and then when you reduce the one, you are going to get 4 of x. And then you get additional sine x. So someone may ask, why do we need to use sine square x plus cos square x, whilst this one is power 4? You can further reduce this power 4 to power 2. And this can happen as sine square of x all power out 2 multiplied by sine of x they are the same thing and then you will be able to use this identity to help you out yeah that's what it means so integrating using this uh, when you are done then you can integrate using the substitution maybe let you are u equal to cos x because always make the u equal to the function of which we are not making any changes of it so as you can see here, the cos is there, the sign is there. We are not making any changes for the cos, but we are trying to simplify um, the sign, which is having a, a power of an odd, an odd, an odd power, to so that we will be able to just substitute it with the sine square or the this trig identity that are written over here. And when you are done with it. The other function that you didn't temper, please make it as your u and then proceed from there. Because if you make it as your u and then you differentiate, always remember that there's a dx or the variable of integration attached to it. And then if we say the u, that means that we are replacing the u to, to the cos over here. And for that matter, we need to also replace dx in terms of the u and doing that we, that's where we do the substitution and making the s the subject you can substitute it over here and then it will help you to cancel out whatever the sine x that you brought out because when you differentiate you are going to get a sine function and when you cancel it out you are going to get a simpler form which you can integrate so i think it's very useful it's very useful so always when you get something like this Try and then differentiate and you are going to get negative or let me see the u dx equal to negative 
sine of x dx and then uh, let me let me not bring the s first yeah yeah so if you want to make the s a subject just multiply by it, dx then dx and then try and make the s a subject and it will be good to go right and you replace it so the second option or the second strategy that i want you to also use is that's the two if now okay let me rewrite this one here integral of cos power n of x sine power k of x or dx so if the n which is the power of the cos is odd and you when you want to work on that what you can do is the same thing as we did for the first strategy you can say that your cos power n of x can also be written as cos power n minus 1 and then you r of x and then you multiply by additional cos of x as i said earlier on when you have maybe cos please take note of the condition if n if that's if n is odd the same thing applies to the sign if k is odd and you want to do that so doing this if you have a cos of 3 of x and you want to reduce it it's going to be cos of 3 minus 1 of x multiplied by cos of x and at the end of the day you are going to get cos power 2 of x and then cos of x of which when you multiply it you are going to get the same thing so nothing has changed over it it's the same as the first strategy so now we are using cos here but we are not using the sign the first one is sine, the second one is cos and they are all saying that if the power is odd and at the end of the day you are going to use the same uh, trick identity just that you are going to make cos square x the subject which is going to be one minus sine square of x and then after you are done with it you can substitute it back over here you can substitute it back over here for example if you are working with you now you, you now have cos square x cos x and then with this you can replace this one over here and when you are done as i told you earlier on remember that this is the one that we are tempering we are not tempering this therefore you can say that let your u equal to what sine x and at the end of the day you'll be able to differentiate this to get your cost and the cost will help you to cancel out this one right so this is the second strategy this is the second strategy that you must know and take note that this substitution when you differentiate the u you are going to get the u dx is equal to what cos x dx and and one thing that you need to also take note is that if you get a question whereby for example integral of cos power 3 of x multiplied by sine power 3 of x any option will work you can try your uh, best in like doing for any other option and you'll be good to go you can use any you can try to reduce either the cos power 3 to cos square multiplied by cos x and then you leave the other one as your u or you do it for the sign and then you use the cos as your u all will fit so since um we are done with the strategy one and strategy two let's look at the last strategy the last strategy is if for example let me rewrite this one here again here at cos power n of x and then sine power k of x or dx so if both n and what k are even are even powers right are even powers just use the one that we use in solving the previous question or in doing solving my previous um doing my previous tutorial which is sine square x equal to one minus cos 2x over 2 remember they are all over 2 and also and also cos 
square of x which is also equal to 1 plus cos 2x all over 2. After you apply these formulas, just simply simplify them and then um, reapply your strategy 1 and strategy 2 as appropriate to help you solve it. That, that's as simple as that, right? So we'll be solving much example on this so that um, you'll be able to get your hands on, on this one because it's very important tool that you need in your toolbox wherever you go on how to integrate